an historic caravan in East Cheshire made famous by a former BBC Wildlife broadcaster may be moved to Yorkshire because the local authority can't afford to maintain it. Campaigners are fighting to keep the caravan in Wimslow, which has been a tourist attraction since its arrival in the county more than 70 years ago. Mairead Smith now reports. The traditional Bardo caravan belonged to Methodist minister Reverend George Bramwell Evans, also known as Romany, a BBC wildlife broadcaster and author who lived in Wilmslow. Romany, the son of a traveller, fronted a long-running radio series on children's art from the early 1930s, which listeners believed was set in the caravan. Well, the other evening I was sitting quietly on the Vardo steps when I heard a snuffling noise underneath. I, I peeped under and there was a hedgehog eating a bit of cheese rind. When Romany died, his widow brought the caravan to the town where it has been used as a popular tourist attraction before falling into a state of disrepair. I feel myself, uh, personally, that it, it belongs to Wilmslow. He lived here, he, he um, wrote his books, uh, a lot of which mention the caravan, and people associate him with Wilmslow. Restoration work has just been completed in Wales, but the Vardo won't return to the Romany Memorial Garden in Wilmslow. Instead, it could be given a new home at a museum in Bradford because the council cannot afford to maintain it. This is a, a nationally important item. Um, it is now only 75% of what it used to be, and were it to come back here, suffering from the rain and the sun, then it would deteriorate rapidly, and in a dozen years' time it wouldn't exist. Campaigners who have helped to pay for the restoration are asking the council to reconsider the plans to move the caravan to Yorkshire. They let us spend all that money on it and then they say you can't have it back. It's got to go undercover somewhere and they say they can't afford to let it go, stand in the open and go rotten again. Maraid Smith, BBC North West Today.